Yo. Am I winning? Bro, it's been not even a minute. <laughs> Hello, Sawyer. Hello, Carpenter. Hello, Ali. Yo, what's up, Brian? Congrats oh, hi, on being first, dude. I'm you guys gotta fight for that garbage. a bit harder. <laughs> Leash. Your ore. Thank you so much for the 11 month resub as well. I appreciate that. Hey, Enraged. Hello, Chip. I'm gonna have the Twitch chat on screen today, maybe, I think. There's only one thing that I'm not sure about if it's fixed or not, and it's the bits. So I don't know if anyone has like one or two bits they want to throw, but it it might be broken. It could very well be broken. See, Paladin, your name is fixed, dude. <laughs> Test it now. I mean, if yeah, if you have like one bit, just throw a bit. It might break the lines. That's the problem. If it breaks the lines, then I'm not going to show chat today, but... Yep, it breaks the lines Found still. God damn it. God fucking damn it, dude. I think I've implemented the change wrong then. I need to look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you didn't have to shout a hundred. <laughs> but, uh, let me look. I've definitely implemented this wrong somehow. Let me look. But yeah, basically what you can see is that whenever people cheer bits, it pushes like a gap. You see how at the top the text is cutting off now? It's because all the lines are supposed to be one static size. But when bits get introduced, the bit emoji is too big for the lines. I tried adding a line to it, but it doesn't work properly. I guess. I must have added it wrong. Let me look. Um... Chat box. Did I even add it? Surely I added it. Ah. I think I found the issue, guys. Smile. <clears throat> um, just one moment. Okay. Feel free to try again. <laughs> Just with one bit, okay? Not, not more than that. But yeah, again, also Leash, thank you for the one bit, and Brian, thank you for the uh, the hundred bitties. He's trying to trick us into sending cheers again. Look, I'm I'm just saying, send one bit. It doesn't have to be a hundred, man. It, that could have been a hundred tests. Wait, is it working? Oh my god, I think it's working. Pog, I think it's working. That looks fixed. Misha's booty, thank Real you for the, funny. Uh, for the one bit. Let me guess. It didn't work again. <laughs> no, 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 no. It worked, it worked. We're good. I think. I don't know. I mean, I, we're going to have to have more chat lines on. Let me see. A, B, S, R, U. Yeah, it looks like it works. No one's cutting off at the top, from what I can see. Nice. It works, let's go. Alright, chat's on screen today. Hopefully no more bugs. Meow. Meow. Uh, at some point I'm probably going to shrink the, the size of it. Also, wait, did I go live on YouTube? Did I? Yeah, I'm live on YouTube. No one said anything in YouTube yet. What? <laughs> yes. Wait. Did I add the wrong chat box? Why is YouTube chat not showing up for me on OBS? Docs. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. It, it, it's, it's it's fixed now, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. Sorry. Bit of troubleshooting today. Bit of troubleshooting. Saying hi YouTube is actual real banter now instead of saying it at the end of world record runs. <laughs> oh yeah, true. It's like, 
we say hi to YouTube before the stream even, like, well, not before the stream starts, but before we actually get into anything. Like the stream, guys. So has no one, ha has no one told anyone to like and subscribe yet? I don't think anyone has told anyone that. But I'm pretty sure you guys have, like, already done that, right? Surely. Surely. But yeah, we have Twitch chat on screen today. I mean, if I put YouTube chat on screen, it looks like this. Oh, never mind. It looks broken, apparently. <laughs> it just immediately broke. Why did it immediately break? Hello, YouTube chat? Where do we go? Okay, never mind, whatever. <laughs> it just immediately broke. I switched it on, and it was there for a second, and then it just disappeared. Anyway. Wait. It's, it's back to working again. Oh my god, what is it doing with... Paladin wrote... Text green game over. Nice. That's... That's definitely not gonna have to be fixed. See, this is why I'm saying I'm ironing out the bugs of the, the on-screen chat. Face blue smiling. Don't know if I can sub to anyone from SA. You don't know if you can sub to anyone from South Africa? Unbelievable, dude. But obviously you can sub to people from South Australia, right? <laughs> nah, I'm just messing. Welcome in, Zumba. Subscribe to this. So true, dude. Subscribe to this. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna hide YouTube chat since it's very, uh, very special. And, uh, we're gonna have, uh, regular chat. Actually, hold on, I just remember, I do have to make it so the chat does hide after, like, 20 seconds there. I didn't do that with my current chat on screen overlay. I might have it so that it always shows, but, yeah, we'll see. One day, one day I'll think about it. I think I'll only have it always show when I have the two chats on screen, but for now I like the idea of having it fade after 20 seconds. Alright. Now that we've successfully got everything working, hopefully with some luck. I mean, if you guys notice any weird, like, stuff on screen with the chat down the bottom here, if you notice anything weird, like if the text cuts off at the top, or if there's any, like, artifacting or anything, let me know. But honestly, most of the stuff should be ironed out and fixed. I've never seen what custom cheer emotes look like either. I don't know if custom cheer emotes break anything, but I don't even know how to use them, so I don't know. To my knowledge, it's just bits. I don't even think I have custom cheer emotes. Can, can you even use custom cheer emotes? What, what do they even do? Riot has the two on screen, but separating? Yeah, I've seen that. I just, I like mine looking really, really clean. It's like, I put a lot of work in, uh, not, not, not I, Shane is the one who's been doing it all, but Sh I've been working with Shane and, like, tweaking this chat a lot. We've been putting a lot of work into making it, like, clean and condensed on screen. Because, like, a default chat overlay looks alright, but, yeah. <laughs> why, why are you dropping the one bitty again? Why are you dropping the one bitty? Yeah, I don't know if there's, like, custom bits. I think there's, like, custom okay. bits that you can use, like, the pride bits or... I don't know, something like that. Oh, a custom cheer thing, I see, I see. I know I don't have my own custom cheer emojis, but yeah. Maybe one day that'll be a thing. Speaking of which, I need to get animated emotes. Alright, um, let's open up splits. So, today we are doing... Normal Sorceress. D2R, any percent bail, PX, uh, PX Sorceress. And then, start server, and I have to change my layout to D2R 2020. That doesn't exist anymore. Why does it not exist? 2400. Oh, I see why. 2024. Why does this not exist? Oh, that's why. Open layout from file. Is it this? Nope, that ain't it. <laughs> that's the old one. Where the fuck did I put the, the other one? 2024 D2R normal. Did I overread it? What 
folder was it in? Dude, I have way too many things. I've been like going through and redoing my splits and this is the most confusing thing. Because I don't know where anything is anymore. Okay, it's in the main live split folder. Surely. No Uber sin? Nah, unfortunately not today. After yesterday, my hand is kind of dead. Plus, I don't know how long I'll be live for today. Also, I guess, while, while people are here, um, I'm moving in like three days. So... That's a thing. That is a thing. Okay. We are doing the move. We're doing the schmove. Hey, what's up, Try? You finally caught me live. Love the YouTube vids. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks, dude. Hopefully I'll be releasing some more original content soon. Rather than just re-uploads of streams and stuff like that, but yeah. What's up, Master Bobby? Hey there as well, Mad Yennefer. How you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good. Finally moving to Queensland? No. 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 But nah, uh, it should be a pretty quick move this time around. Seeing as I didn't move too long ago, so... Everything is already still kind of like packed away in boxes and shit. And plus I don't have much to move. The original time I had to move, I had to move a bunch of stuff and it's like most of the stuff is like in a convenient spot to be moved Good anyway. Day. So yeah, it'll be pretty much stress free and hopefully with some luck I should be offline for no more than three days. Moving to Melbourne? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not moving far at all. I'm like <laughs> moving literally just like a few streets down or whatever. Uh, let me see. What do I need to do? I do need to clear out the shared stash. I like how I end up buying, like, all this gear and never end up fucking using any of it, dude. Need a snorkel to move to Queensland. <laughs> but yeah, nah, I'm pretty excited because it means that I'm finally no longer going to have to use this fucking weird like noise filtering suppression bullshit anymore. So my voice will actually sound normal and not like robotic. And uh, on top of that, it's just going to be more convenient. Plus I can finally like record content without having to worry about fucking random noise and just inconveniences man I mean there will be random noise I will still be living with someone so but it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as it currently is right now um sorry I just have to get shit set up I forgot my reset macro but yeah now as I said I'm looking forward to it because it means that I'm finally going to be able to actually have motivation to record content again Posture check, thank you. I was shrimping. Oh my god, dude. They, those help so much. Those posture checks are actually going to help so much. But yeah. Um, okay, the reset macro is open. We are doing sorceress today. Starting the recording, and yeah. Which is better from a creator support perspective? YouTube membership or Twitch sub? Um, they're pretty even, to be honest. They're pretty even, so whichever one is your preference, Hango. I would say you get more out of a Twitch sub than you do a YouTube sub. But yeah, from a, sp sp uh, from a support perspective, it's really dependent on how much you choose. You know, like if you choose to be a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 sub or something. I'd, I'd say for me, it probably helps me more on Twitch. Especially if it's like tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3. Because that kind of stuff goes towards the Partner Plus, and the Partner Plus essentially gives the same split as YouTube. Speaking of which, I'll probably go for a Partner Plus push in, uh, in the coming month or so. Did we do a water check? I don't know, but I have water today, so that's good. Alright, let's actually do a... let's do a start. Let's start the game. Also, I'm going to put a heavy playlist on today. I need heavy, loud, screaming 
angry. But we'll have a lower volume than we did yesterday. Music was pretty loud yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, Hango, as I said, from a creator's uh, support perspective, it's really like up to you. Because at the end of the day, the default Twitch uh, sub split is 50 50. And then if you're on the Partner Plus program, it's 70 30. And YouTube, I believe, is 70 30 by default. But the thing is, I think YouTube subs, for me at least, are priced in Australian dollars. So they're a little bit lower than what Twitch sub subs are by default. So yeah. Good day. YouTube doesn't have re region prices. I think it's the other way around. I think. Oh wait, actually, yeah, no, true. They do have region prices on Twitch now. I forgot about that as well. Um, yeah, I think I, I don't know. It, it's hard to say, but at the end of the day, support is support. You know, like I appreciate what whatever support you guys want to give. For me, I prefer Twitch. I think I prefer Twitch just because, as I said, like you know, going for the partner plus thing is a thing. Is Kano keep keeping these streaming times? Anyone know? Um, I'm right here, dude. <laughs> Why are you asking chat? I'm right here. I, I don't know, man. Am I keeping these streaming times? I don't fucking know. Probably. <laughs> no, I guess chat, chat is the one that knows. I don't even know. If the streamer doesn't know, then who's to know? Good day. Because you're not answering? Did he ask? Oh, sorry. Right. My bad. I, I should scroll up, shouldn't I? You asked the last three days? Ah, oh, my bad. Um, I don't know. I am probably keeping these streaming times for a little while, but I'm going to be, like, going off uh, okay. for a little while. Like, I'm going to have uh, some downtime because I'm going to be moving soon. So I'm definitely off from the 22nd, 23rd, and 20th. No, wait, no. Good day. I'm definitely off. Oh, I don't want to say definitely, but... The likelihood of me streaming on the 21st, 22nd, you and 23rd is extremely low right now. I'm going to try and stream every other day. I might stream on the 21st as my last one and then take two days off. Or maybe I'll stream on the 23rd assuming I can get everything set up in time. I don't know yet. But we'll see. And as for the streaming times, yeah. Typically I would like to be going live around this time, but... Honestly, I'm just someone who streams whenever I feel like it, and typically I go live for like six hours minimum. Unless I'm like really feeling off, or if I'm like sore and tired or whatever. Today, I don't think it's going to be more than six hours. But yeah. Two streams in a row, end of the world, or is Kano actually a nice person? What do you mean by that? What do you even mean? Evil beware. Fair enough, you watch on both, but more on YouTube. But subbed on Twitch. Ah, oh, fair, fair. Well, no, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I think, um, yeah, as I said, I do prefer the Twitch subs, if possible, as opposed to the YouTube memberships. But with that said, like, you know, I also appreciate YouTube memberships, you know. If you, no matter how you guys choose to support, I am grateful. Because at the end of the day, you allow me to do this as a job. And that is very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize you were asking for the last three days. That's that. That's just bad by me missing those chat messages, I suppose. I, I think during the Uber run yesterday, if you asked when I was like in the peak of the run, that would have been oh, tough. Hi, thanks but... for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> oh my god. Exodus, thank you so much for the prime sub. Speed. Speed. This place is Thank trouble. you for the five months. That sounded hilarious, man. I'm not gonna lie.
What's the goal today? Is this a hell run? Nah, just a normal run today. Big chillin'. I need some relaxation after that assassin run yesterday, dude. That stressed me out at the end of the run. has been purged of evil. Greetings, fellow humans. It's a crazy, crazy thing to say. Especially when I'm in the chat. You saw Ubermath and Bale, but I had to go to work 10 minutes before the end. Well, I got through the run. It was just, I just threw a lot, man. I just dropped my malice on the ground and saved and exited. So. You can kind of already tell what kind of day that was. Pretty clean. Oh no. <laughs> Good day. <clears throat> Take me to your leader, fellow Earth thing. Good day. Yeah, the Malice fail was really sad, but I mean, to be honest, I lost a lot of time in different ways in that run. Pretty clean, yeah, it was pretty clean until it wasn't. Good day. It was pretty clean until it wasn't. Good day. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am so satisfied with how the chat looks on screen, by the way. Oh, I just noticed, for some reason, IGT is not working. Oh, I don't even have IGT open. What the fuck? Helps if you open it, hey. And the other run. What the fuck? Completely forgot. Fine work with the chat? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, like, Shane has done such a good job. Big shout out to Shane. Why did I remove the old chat to begin with again? I just wanted it to look clean on the stream. Good day. Plus, I wanted to condense it a little bit. I'm going to condense it probably a little bit further. Plus, uh, eventually, I want to combine the two. Good Maybe day. not combine, but at least, like, have a separator or something. I want to do some sort of graphic. I want to make, like, a graphic for it to separate them, but I'm not sure. I still need to get YouTube chat fixed up a bit, though. There's still some bugs and errors, like, for example, the uh, emotes. The emotes were showing up weird. They were showing up as text. Evil beware. Makes your butt look big. That's because you have booty in all caps, buddy. And plus, ain't nothing wrong with a big butt. It's 
Still no new world record today. Bro, it's been five minutes. Can you relax? I'm about to flip our table. <laughs> Chat on screen pog. Yeah, hopefully one day it'll be both of them. But for the time being, YouTube, you guys can get away with saying bad things. Oh, this is gonna be a fun den. This is gonna be a really fun den, guys. Fun for the whole family. A wise man once said, fun. I need mana. I need mana. She needs mana, guys. Can you give her some? Look at that guy, like, shimmying in between the... Between the wall, that was funny. He had no idea how to play the game. Noob. Oh yeah, D I forgot D4 has a new season coming in uh, January 23rd. I might play D4 a little bit, but like, when I say a little bit, I mean like actually a little bit, like maybe like two or three days worth of it, and then I'll get bored and then probably come back to D2 speedruns as I always do. That juked me a little too hard, and it made me a little upset. You were just putting bad things in chat? Oh. <laughs> I, I get it now, I get it. <laughs> D3 gets no love. Yeah, I think they've, like given up on supporting D3 or something, haven't they? I thought this was like the last season that they were doing something for it. Maybe I am mistaken. Please die. I got him. Why am I not bonking? Bonk harder. Thank you. This 10 time is ass. Well, I missed something. Would the new season actually make the game fun for once? Um, I don't know. For the people who, for, like, I think I've heard Lucky talking a bit about it, saying that he thinks that the season mechanic actually doesn't look too bad. Good day. But yeah. Good day. Bad things? Gotcha. Kano is a good gamer. That was an amazing thing to say, actually. Good day. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know if the new season's gonna be any good. Good day. Yeah, yeah. That was the plan for D3, like, they're, re they're like, good recycling, day. basically. Good uh, day. if you don't- if you didn't like D3, you will not like D4. Just saying. Evil beware. Oh, uh, yeah, the scaling content thing, Luna? Yeah. I think scaling content is not a great idea. But it... 
It's a good idea for casual play players, right? And obviously you can kind of tell that they tried to really cater to a casual audience. With a uh, Diablo. Or Diablo 4, rather. But yeah, it's not great for the casual. Hey, Shalon, how you doing? You could say things really bad, like Immortal. True. Now, I think that's something we can all universally agree on, that Immortal is just actually a dog shit product. But, like, general consumers. Obviously, there's a handful of people that- there's a, there's a market out there for it, because there's a big mobile gaming market. Quiet music today? Yeah, I went a bit quiet today. I needed it to, I needed it to be like a screamy, but not too loud in my ear hole today. But maybe I might turn it up soon, we'll see. Screamy, but like from across the street. Feels just like home, dude. Hey there, average chicken song. Yeah, things are fine here. Things are fine. Hope you're doing well. We are rather poor.
<laughs> that was decent-ish. Yo, what up, serious cat? Thanks for the good luck. Impossible. I need mana. I need mana. Not enough mana. I need mana. Not enough mana. I don't know what I'm trying to kill here. I'm definitely wasting time there. I think the only thing I'm trying to kill is time. Get it? Speedrunning? <laughs> yes, we got it. Good, I'm glad. Would have been a little bit embarrassing if you didn't. I can't. It's for here. <laughs> yeah, rocking this shoe is really, really tough sometimes. That's gonna be an FCR amulet. I saw it in a dream. Oh, the monastery on Dariel's stronghold. Why is there a big man here? Why is there two big men here? Why are you here? Good. All good. All good. Very nice. Very nice. Whoa, what is going on here, over here? It's long gone now. Looks like a tile. Wait, is it? No, I don't think it is actually. Don't think I have a TP, but let's see what we have going on, I guess. think it's going to be anything. I need a key. I don't think there's anything. Yeah. Ugh, I had a really bad coughing fit just then. Kind of glad. Yeah. All right. Hey, Slip. Good day. Final stream from this place? Nah, probably like second to last. Or no, nah, maybe not second to last. Good day. I love the screw this run deaths. So true, Good dude. Day. They're the best kind of deaths. They're the ones where you've just accepted defeat. Good day. Yeah. 
evil Hey, Mercy Lago. Thanks for the good luck. Thank you as well, Jack. Damn, dude. Wanna roll. Double one tap on the core rats? This is, uh, this is world record pace right now. Aw. Oh, I was gonna say imagine. Him. So sedge. How's the weather in Australia for January? It's been pretty warm, man. It's been like warm on and off. We had a couple of really cool days recently, but it's back to warm again. By the way, for gyms, Tony, guys, I'm not taking it seriously. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, Kinder, you're gonna do so good and stuff, maybe, but I'm probably gonna come, like, last. I'm just not practicing, really. Like, I might do one run, one, like, trial run. Probably right on, right before the day or on the day or something, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be like me waking up at four in the morning for this run, dude, or being awake until four in the morning, whichever one is more likely. I think it's more likely I'll be awake until that hour, but we'll see. Hey, Matteo, thanks for the uh, thanks for the good luck. Just beat Schmuck. Is he actually taking part in it? And is he taking part as one of the speedrunners? Or is he taking part as one of the not speedrunners? I think. Yeah. Yes, G. Yeah, I found it funny the other day when you asked me, like, are you ever doing any runs, any trial runs for the, uh, NG Plus tournament? Taking part in what? Uh, New Game Plus tournament. Jim is hosting a New Game Plus tournament. Yeah, we got a Twitch chat on screen at the moment, Mike. Uh, Jim, everyone will be streaming it to my knowledge, but Jim will be, like, each individual player will be streaming it. I think. But Jim is the one hosting. Like, on his channel. I think he'll have, like, a actual setup. With like, I think he's casting with like Barricade and Woot. Yeah, I've recently been getting my stream set up for like more different things. Like I'll probably do some Diablo 1 soon. I've got retro games planned as well in the future. I'm taking streaming a little bit more seriously, guys. 
D4 again? Yeah, I'll mess around on D4. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but it's still an okay game to play, like, just for a little bit. I don't think it's ever something I'll hard commit to unless it actually improves dramatically, though. Like, their implementation of leaderboards is just kind of sad. It's just grifts. It's literally just grift leaderboards. Which, I mean, still interesting, but not like... I don't know. Nothing crazy for me. It's nothing that draws me in, like, oh my god, I have to play this. It's like, essentially for me, it'll be like a case of just playing against, like, farming against, uh, or competing against people who've farmed the hardest, probably. What record time? Uh, maybe. Hey, anyway, Vinius, thanks for the good luck. Good to see you, dude. Yeah. You always recommend Druid to new players? Yeah, Druid, Druid and Assassin are pretty new friendly in D2. Kano goes casual when? I already am, dude. Losing world records on the daily. Nah, not quite. If went for that fire shrine, I would not take this pack on right now. That fire shrine is very, very cool. Please let me she walks into it. I hear the sound. She didn't die. Unlucky. Unlucky. It's fine. Yo, what's up, Yard? Ah, uh, the monastery on Dariel Stronghold. Hope to see you next time when Woody and others organize a speedrun event. I didn't even know people were organizing a speedrun event. I don't even think I took part in the last one. Was there was there a speedrun event? Carbonite. There was magic here. It's long gone now. If there was magic here, it's long gone now. I think that's my waypoint up there. It's not my waypoint. It's my bait Impossible. point. Impossible. This is my waypoint. 
This is my waypoint. Good day. Good day. Don't think I have anything, but yeah. If there was magic here, it's long gone now. Maybe a small chance of like something right here. A cage, maybe? Nope. Nope. The also is the most important, so do it. I mean, technically I have this uh, the speedrun.com world record at the moment, but I just haven't posted it. Good day. Mm. Been lazy about it. Good day. <laughs> Good day. That fucking voice line, Movinius. Is that a D1 voice line? Evil beware. It is, right? Yeah, it's funny. You know, I haven't actually played as much D1 as people probably think. I played a little bit, but when I when I actually revisit this game, it's kind of going to be like a very much learning experience again. And it's going to be extremely casual. I'm telling you now, it's going to be extremely casual. Ooh. What? Cool, we'll grab the XP shrine. Do it up. Okay, they're not close enough. They are not close enough. My friends. <clears throat> you never played D1? Oh, damn. It's funny, dude. A Swoogie, yesterday, I raided him. He was uh, he was playing D2 for the first time. I was so shocked. I was like, how is this your first time playing D2? Because obviously, you know, he's like had a pretty big part in the D2 community. Like, I've known... I've known of, of him, like... For Yonks, obviously, since I've known Ryu for Yonks. I met him through Ryu, so. And Ryu obviously got me into D2 speedrunning, so. You guys can thank him for the reason why I do this so much. But yeah, nah, I'm looking forward to doing like a casual D1 playthrough. I think it'll be kind of fun. I think it will be kind of fun to just fuck around a bit, you know? The thing is, I, I just don't know, like, how I'm gonna play it, you know? Like, I don't know if I'm gonna, like, restart my game often, because that's the thing, in that game, like, you, you have to, like, new game a lot, don't you? In order to get through the content. And obviously if you die, you start from, you start kind of from scratch or something. Like, I think obviously you start in town, but I don't know if your level and stuff resets, I don't think it does, right? Been a minute since I played that game. The cave has been purged of evil. Yeah, pasta.
It's a save load system. Ah, so like, yeah, you actually would have, like, if you did die, you would restart from scratch. Interesting. Oh, right, I don't know what the game is forcing me. I think it probably would have been there. Oh, maybe not. No, we're here. We're here. We're good. The left exit. Is someone streaming D2 with the timer you're in? What if I was streaming... Uh... I don't know. Aladdin with a timer. Tried so hard to get to the vitality. Sim City with the timer. <laughs> Sim City with the timer sounds so funny. Like, what do you even do in Sim City to speedrun that game? I guess you'd be like speedrunning to certain milestones. Hey, Lubomir. You only tried D1, didn't get too far. Yeah, it's like a hard game if you don't know what you're doing, but I guess you could say the same for D2, right? I watched the GDQ speedrun from uh, Funkmaster. He was like talking about wanting more people to get into speedrunning it. And who knows, man, maybe I might. Apparently the run is like super optimized and there's a lot of RNG factors. Uh, leap requires level 19. And we don't even farm runes in this run at the moment, at least not this speed run. In the hell run, you can kind of farm runes, but you're still hoping for stealth along the way. This place is trouble. Honestly, this game... It takes a few hours to obviously get really good at when it comes to speedrunning, but I would just say, like, the way that you learn is very important. What resources you have access to and how you use them is, like, super important. Because for me, right, like, I sat down and, like, really grinded out my Act 3 for, like, maybe 20 hours and it just stuck with me. And, like, I'm talking, like, I, like I, not 20 hours straight, obviously, but, like, over time... I looked at the tile collection, compared like a lot of different tiles and tried to like differentiate what patterns there were on top of also looking at the D2 tiles collection that was like presented by a TP scrollbot or whatever. And like, yeah, tried to understand the rules. And even to this day, like the other day, not the other day, but like the other week, I learned a new pattern that has always existed, but was documented in Boxer's video that I didn't actually know about. Which was when, uh, when you have a fork on two or four, the path that goes straight actually forces a new exit by default. So like in some situations, let's say for example that Marsh happens earlier on three, and then you have a fork on four on the other side, you know for a fact you're going to have a fledge on you. Or you know that there's a chance that maybe one, one of the sides might have a skip on either one. But it's just like little shit like that that just exists in this game. In like Act 3. Where it's like once once you learn it, it's with you forever. Basically. Uh, assuming that you put it into practice a bit. I think that's kind of important. <laughs> like if there was a guide. Okay, like that was too early. Too soon, buddy. Okay. 
Because for me, like, if, if I just, like, knew of these resources, I would have immediately gone to them and I probably would have just become even better in a shorter period of time. But it's like, when I first started speedrunning, I didn't give a shit. I just kind of did it. I was like, yeah, I can go kind of fast. And then after some time, I was like, oh shit, I'm actually, like, kind of almost on world record pace for some of these runs. So I just started blasting harder. Trying to learn more. And even to this day, I could still learn more. Like, I could sit down and memorize more tiles. I could sit down and memorize more tiles, more patterns, learn more rules, test more things, practice more classes. I think the actual like in-game mechanics aspect of it, like knowing the classes and how to play them is a bit different. That's more like practice and stuff. But in terms of like map knowledge and shit, it's literally just like study a textbook and once it's once it's part of your knowledge, it's usually like there and it's very rare that you'll make mistakes. It's like, if I were to be tested on Diablo 2, and like the map knowledge stuff, I'd probably get like a 90% or more every time. Good day. Whereas like, if you were to Good test day. like, some other average runner, they would probably get, I don't know, anywhere between like 50 and 75%, and then if you test people who don't even know anything about tiles, then they're like, even below that. Do you speedrun other games? Not at the moment. Besides D4, I guess. I have looked into speedrunning Lion King and Aladdin a little tiny bit, but... I'm not very good at, like, those types of speedruns. Where it requires more, like, in-game tricks and mechanics and stuff, I guess. Like, obviously, you guys know that when it comes to me performing wave skips, sometimes I'm 100% with it, and then other times I'm just like, I have a day where I just can't skip a single wave, so... You wanna do a Bob Street run? Fire it up, dude. What are you waiting for? Someone will figure out how to read Arcane Sanctuary? I don't think that day will ever come. Not without someone actually, like, somehow having the ability to memorize 4.2 billion seeds. In which case we'd be, we'd be dealing with like a cyborg or a superhuman. I don't even know if AI is ready for that kind of stuff. Get memorizing you superhuman speed man. You and the tiles, I think that's my strong point. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of strong points in this game. I'm very good at inventory management stuff in comparison to some of the runners. But so are a lot of like the Korean and Chinese runners, they're insanely good at uh, inventory management. I mean, they're insanely good at inventory management in terms of click speed and stuff. In terms of like what to actually like this look for and carry and stuff like that, that's a different story. That That's where the knowledge aspect comes into play. But they're, they're similar to like what people are impressed by my speedruns for, which is often a lot of people are always like, Oh my god, how did you read that item so quick and stuff like that, you know? You guys look at me, but like you haven't seen people like, you know, fucking Dongs, Dongsin and Novice and Tunan run before. Because they're not easy to watch, like, um, at least Tunan especially. Tunan is hard to watch because of Billy Billy. Like some people literally can't watch that site and... Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, you have to watch in like low quality and things like that, I guess. Novice speedruns a lot and is on Twitch, but obviously Twitch and career is going to be going down like in just a few months, not even. And uh, he's on YouTube too, but yeah. And Dongsen hasn't speedrun in like fuck knows how long. He was a really, really crazy good runner with like speed clicking and stuff. Like watching him buy potions was probably the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And yeah, Tunan has been putting up some crazy good healthy X times. Like really, really good. Just the only thing is he doesn't grind like he doesn't grind for like a crazy good normal start or anything like I do. So I feel like, yeah. He plays, he plays like really well on average, like most of the time if he doesn't get super fucked over, like he'll produce a really good time or run. 
I think so the hydrate covenant. Give me a second. Did I get world record last night? Nah, I fumbled. Greetings. Yeah, throwing knives are really, really good uh, gold space. I think they sell for like 720 in D2R or something. Wow, how did that recognize it as a link? What the fuck? That boat goes wild sometimes. I think it's because one of your messages didn't have a space between it. So Nightbot thought you were linking something. I'm reading your message, so I agree with you. By studying the tiles, you can cut off a lot of time when you start and learn some basics. Got decent times and improved. Um, as he did more runs, he learned from your mistake. Inventory management was a weak spot for sure, and your Act 3 could have been way better. Yeah, Act 3 is definitely one of the places that, like, just kills so many runners. Like, if you do not know how to read Act 3, you lose, like, easily up to, like, two to four minutes of time, if not more. That's why I put so much time into it, because I was like, damn, this is like a time this this was like one of the areas where I was losing the most time. You can kinda get away without like knowing much about like uh act two and stuff, because it's not as punishing. I mean it can be pretty punishing still, but yeah. Act one is really easy because it's oh my god, I forgot I didn't put vitality on. Good day. Um what was I saying? Uh, act, like, I think in in order of importance, like, Act 1 is very easy because there's so many, so much, like, documented shit on it that you can literally force a layout and not have to, like, even think. Yeah, no, it's, it's because what you wrote, you wrote it like this. You wrote that there. So it thought that you were linking mistakes.my. <laughs> It's just, it just happens sometimes. Nightbot. Nightbot obviously is like designed to remove links, but it just thought there was a link, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, Act 3 is definitely the most punishing for the average player because it's one of those acts where like if you don't know what the hell's going on, you may have to backtrack like easily one to two minutes or like more or less. When it comes to knowing what tiles you're encountering and all the rules and stuff, like, it's just one of the most beneficial acts to know what the fuck is going on. Because if you know what's going on, you can save yourself, like, up to five minutes. Easily. If you don't know what the fuck is going on, then you're just, like, running around mindless and hoping that you get lucky. Like, as I've said before, like, if I were to just go through Act 3 right now, like, really quickly, I can tell you mostly, like, I... There may be one or two tiles which trip me up, but like immediately, I can just tell you like everything that's happening. Like it's six by two, right? So it's like two wide, six long. There's certain rules where like skips can only occur on three, five, and six. Six has to go straight, five, three and five go either that way, like that way or that way. And uh, yeah, this is like a standard tile that always starts. So this is one A and one B. We're starting on B. This is gonna be a camp that uh, sorry, we're starting on A, my bad. This is 2A, which c connects over to this way with a camp north. I don't know how to read this part anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. I only know if this is super wide, it goes straight, usually. Um, but I think that this may go down here. It's like either the cavern or nothing, and it goes down here, potentially. Yep. Obviously, since there's nothing down there, I, I know not to check. This stone pathing already tells me that there's a skip down here. So there'll be a bridge to cross for marsh. Another camp to the left here. This is uh, the fake tile. Uh, this is a bridge that goes this way, which implies that maybe there's a skip. And this bridge here tells me that I have to cross on this side and we have a skip to the flare jungle over here, plus a camp north. It's just like, that is enough to just save so much time. Like, I don't have to see anything else.
What would be the next least attractive to learn after that? Probably like Act 2's like fucking weird finicky corners and shit. Like Act 2 is hard to explain because it's 8x8 eight eight, but like just knowing the corner piece tiles is pretty important. There's some, one, there's some tiles that you can just tell if the it's corner not. exit is like there already. Like, okay, so this rule here, because this is a close exit, means that we'll never have an exit in the bottom corner, so you don't have to check there unless you're looking for uh, holes. So I just run across here the entire time. Waypoint conveniently enough. Let's see, I'll cross over here like this. Uh, exit's here. 100% exit's here. It's just going up this way. And the reason is because this top half is three tiles long. The wall is one tile, the bottom half is four tiles. You see how this cutout exists here? If I were to approach this the same way but in opposite, if I saw that there, right, as soon as I come down the stairs, let's say I come down the stairs, I get up to this point, if I see this, just that tiny little piece there existing like that, I'd immediately know that the exit's in that corner. Same goes here, like obviously I walk along this tile border, right, I'm along this tile border, and as soon as I see, like obviously this is a fake, like, little shape, but... As soon as I'm this deep, I'm like, okay, well, exit's here for sure, because otherwise I'd have an indent, right? In the other corners, there's going to be an indent. Like... See how this is an indent, right? It cuts out like this. It's cutting out two by one. And here, same thing. It cuts out two by one. So, like... You kind of just navigate along the tile borders when you walk into Act 2. That's the easiest way to do things. Because when you, like, when you come through an entrance, you're essentially along the tile border anyway. So you may as well just walk in a straight line like this. And you're revealing two things at a time. Now, once you've gone, like, a full screen away, then you go across like this. Because, like, essentially a tile is roughly about a screen. Now, obviously, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you here, but... In this situation, I am thinking this is probably going to be the exit. Which it is. And since I'm exiting right corner and entering from left, and this tile is usually, like, in the left corner, exit can only exist on this bottom left wall, so I know not to check close exit for this, there'd be nothing here. So I either have two options, it's either going to be exit up there, there, or it's going to be on the far right corner, bottom right wall. Ah, it's up here. Lost City can also never ever exit in the bottom corner. Yeah, the indent stuff is, like, common stuff, right? But it's, like, the tile border aspect of it is the hard part, I guess. It's, like, knowing how far inwards you are. This stuff still trips me up every now and then, because, like, essentially... Also, what's up, Jenga? How you doing? Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, the tile border stuff is, like, the crazy part, I guess. It's, like, when you see enough of an indent... Like, a, a middle indent, or a middle piece. It, like, can tell you, like, let's say, for example, if I'm walking along here and I still see that this part is, like, this far out, I'm like, okay, exit's definitely in this corner. I can know to just check it straight away. But yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Like, Act 2's not as punishing, but if you do know this, this kind of stuff, you can save, like, I don't know, a few seconds each corner. Whereas in Act 3, you get punished so fucking bad. Like, so bad if you don't know what you're doing. Like, let's 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 look at the timer, right? I'll show you here. And I'll go walk mode, because this is essentially what the speed you'd be at if you're walking. So this, I think, is a fork. So this will go straight and right, which means I have marsh on the left here. Or potentially flare, unless... Because if, if flare is down there, then marsh will... Like, if marsh is here, f flare could be on 3B. If it's Flare, then obviously Marsh is on 3B. But not that that matters. So this is the instance that I'm talking about where on 2, if a fork exists, which means that on the, like, it splits into two ways, right? One goes straight, one goes this way. The side that you're on that goes straight will 100% guarantee a new area over here, and then obviously this will probably have to continue up here or something like that. But we have a new area generated over here. And this could be Flare or Marsh. It's Marsh. So that would mean that I'd have to go check 3B to see if I've got something else going on over here. And unfortunately I do not. So now I come back up here and then we continue straight along the river, see if something interesting happens. This has this is that same tile that I talked about earlier before, where it does a camp north and curves to the right. 
So five is occupied by a camp there, which is fine, but we can go this way. Get up to this point. This here is a straight tile. That would be a dead end or a continuation north. And now if this tile here forces me to turn but not go into a camp, unfortunately this is going into a camp, but if this was a tile that I could recognize that turns, I would know I have a flare jungle skip because if 6B turns onto 6A, you have a straight skip. But unfortunately we don't know yet and we could have a camp skip, but we're not sure. We get up to this point and unfortunately it's a dead end with nothing. Uh, and there is maybe a chance that I can telly the wall, but I can't. Maybe down this way or something? Nope. Sometimes you can get lucky and tally the walls. This just happens to connect. This connects the marsh. So this is five. I'm essentially on three. This is also, uh, this is a special tile. So I actually have to check over here. And we have a skip to the flare. And the reason I know that is because this bridge with one torch, stone bridge with one torch, you always go opposite side of that torch. And there's always a camp on there too as well. Like, there's an inverted one as well, where this, uh, this stone bridge has a torch on this side, which means you'd have to go this side of it, and there'd be a camp south. Yeah, it's a lot of fuckery, but as I said, like, you can know so much. But in this situation, like, I would have gone and checked this, and I would have been fucked, because I probably would have had my TP, like, back here, rather than here. So I would have had to have, like, walked all the way through Marsh like that. But yeah, Act 3 is fun. I love explaining it. Because it's the one thing I put so much fucking time into. Guide tomorrow. <laughs> I can clear Act 3 blindfolded. It's funny, I can do it without the map. I can literally run it without the map. I'll show you, I'll do a no map run of Act 3. I love doing this, because most of the time I don't run it with a map anyway. Like, I don't run it with a map and people are just like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> How does he know where to go? <laughs> Alright, camp north. Or camp camp north north northwest. Uh, it is a real cabin. So that would have a cabin there. Another camp. This is waypoint, and it continues up here. Could be something going on on 4B, not sure yet. This is a skip tile. We are on the marsh. Now we leave a TP here. Actually, I've already seen waypoint, so it doesn't even matter. Better go here, and this is a skip straight ahead. This goes straight to flare. Oh wait, I just realized I turned the map on, whoops. It's such a habit to randomly press tab, but yeah, you get the idea. I don't know. Act 3 is just like, so important. When it comes to like, doing normal difficulty runs, you definitely want to learn Worldstone tiles too as well though. Worldstone tiles can be really, really big. I'm really bad at Worldstone tiles and Ice Cave tiles. I'm so shit at them. I like my weakest spot. River of Flame can also be pretty good to know. And Act 4 is easy because Act 4, if you run the one Act 1 layout, you always know where Act 4 will take you pretty much. Like as I said, um, all the speedrunner layouts, like the ones that do the indirect layout where you go top left, top right, all have like specific force things. If Even if you do top left, bottom left, if you do top left, bottom left, the exit will always take you over to this one, over here. 100% it will always take you over here. Well, we literally teleported here. I didn't realize we were in Planes of Despair, we just did that. That's cool. Yeah, you get the idea. All right, let's get back into it. Good day. 18k life. Yeah, it's a hacktus character. Good day. <laughs> Basically, can flexing why he has world records. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things where 
You just gotta put the time into studying, but once you get it, it's just there. Okay. Like, it's just there for, for good. good like, it, it becomes muscle memory, basically. Someone clip these last 10 minutes. Good day. It's alright. You're part of the guide, don't worry. Smile. It's a Good hacked day. test character error. Why is my Sork fighting rainbows? Same as before. Good hacked day. test character. Has way too many things on it. It can also like turn monsters Good into day. reanimated bales from the throne. It's kinda weird. That was the guy that was the guide, guys. Good Pack day. it up. You really think I'd go that low effort? You really think I'd go llama paint level? Llama paint tutorial level? Good day. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Good day. STFU KK, thanks. Bye. Thank you so much for the sub. Good day. Appreciate the prime. Hope you enjoyed the day. emotes and the ad free watching. Challenge me to play Median XL. Good day. I would have if it weren't for D2R releasing, but I don't think I could go back to a game like that. Good day. Uh, Median XL is just like so much. It's like Good such day. a different thing. If I Good put that day. effort in, it would definitely improve. Thanks again for Kano explaining this. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean it like that, but yeah. Good day. I don't know. I'd love to see more people put uh, time into improving. Like, even if people don't good get day. onto world record paces and stuff like that, it's always good to just see people, like, improving in this game. Because I notice it. I watch a lot of runs. Like, I watch so many different runners. I'm like Yard. Like Yard Yard was saying before, he's like, if someone is playing D2 and has a timer, I will watch them. It's like I do the same thing. Good day. Alright, this exit You'll means that I'm gonna have a, a top right exit in my act four. In outer steps. 100 percent It'll never miss. It can never miss. Just need a jail set up now to prove it. True. Ah, I see, I see, I get you. You'll stream later, and if I'm not there with a you'll stream later with a timer, and if I'm not there, you'll be disappointed. Look, man's got to sleep too, and I'm not always on Twitch. Okay, sometimes I'm doing other things, like not streaming. Have you ever tried not streaming? It's pretty fun sometimes. Thanks, Paladin. This place is trouble. What do you even do when you're not streaming D2R? Do you eat? Yeah, sometimes. I actually had some pretty good food. I posted it in my Discord today. I enjoyed a nice butter chicken. You guys should join the Discord and go look. Now you want some? Get some, dude. What are you waiting for? Literally, what are you waiting for? Please 
Please stop touching. Or blocking at me. Ew. Of evil. Ah, this is Sofko, Alex. Good day. I almost always immediately equip those things, by the way, guys, because half the time. Uh, sorry, I had to think for a second. Uh, I almost always equip caps as soon as I ID them because they're like... I'm pretty sure I've never ever seen one like roll without energy on it. So that is the reason why every time I blindly equip them. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a rare cap roll without energy. That butter chicken looks good. It was good. Good morning, Pichu. How are you today? Tell me now. Describe how you are in five words. No more, no less. I don't have a gas. It's kind of sad. Yes. No. No. Please. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. God, Mullet. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Leela. Enjoy, Leela. Welcome back. Fine. Rock issue. You can live. I don't even care. I don't even care. Good, tired, happy. Uh, yes. I see. I like those choice of words. This guy seems very angry. Especially about 1984. I don't know what happened in 1984, but something. Probably a lot of things, actually. It's crazy to think that a lot of things have happened in different years. Isn't it? What exactly are we speedrunning today? Uh, normal difficulty. Gonna be Indrek? Uh, it's actually Bender who has this record. You're stuck in a time machine, Fantasia. The days of Indrek on top are long gone. Why is he lightning enchanted? Get an actual hold of yourself. Long gone now. They're Long John, dude. Long John. Do you make a mean sandwich, Kano? I actually don't. That kind of makes me sad. 
Why'd you have to remind me I don't make a mean sandwich? Fucking day's ruined. No, please. Oh, not the, not the stabby thing. Uh, the monastery, on Dariel's stronghold. Describe how you are in five words. Hi. That isn't five words. No, because in theory, no matter how good the sandwich you make is, the one someone else always tastes better. Are you hitting me with some deep knowledge? What's my favorite type of sandwich ever? It's probably like something with chicken on it. With a live chicken that's still breathing. No, I'm kidding. Not really. I'm kidding. Guys, I'm kidding. Guys, I'm not weird. I swear. Don't leave. <laughs> wow. What's the best condiment in in your uh, in your opinion, bro? I'm not the one to ask these kinds of questions. <sighs> Help! Let me live, please. I'm gonna need to live at least a little. That was awesome. Do it again. Yeah, no, really, I, I have no idea. Do you even like ketchup? Catch these hands. Catch down. If there was magic here, <laughs> I don't, I don't, know. I don't, what now. am I saying? What am I saying right now? What planet am I, what planet am I on? Please give me a waypoint, thank you. Thank you so much. We have a chance. Good day. We have a chance. Cold Rest 5. Good day. He's a funny man today. What do you mean today? If there was magic here, it's long gone now. I get offended whenever people say just today. He's doing the funny- No, I fucking hate this game so much. Please, give me a cage. Give me a cage. Where's the Nicholas cage? One cage, please. There's no cages anymore. Wait. Jokes. No cages. Ah, uh, I guess I might as well go fuck myself then. Good day. Day. Sorry, what does that even mean, soliloquy? What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna Google that. Should I Google that? Am I gonna regret Googling that? What the fuck does that mean? Oh. It's... what? <laughs> why did that... That sounded way worse for some reason. I don't know why. I, I just immediately thought that you were just like... Trying to say something really bad. <laughs> it's like not even bad at all. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Assuming that it's what I, what I googled at least, <laughs> unless there's some secret meaning. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that's what it was called though. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know that was what it was called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, man. That's so fucking funny. Ogog. I'm trying to Ogog, dude. So he's talking because it's normal only now? Uh... Yeah. 
I can't believe Kano transformed from a speedrunner into streamer and is constantly talking now. I'm sorry. Nah, during, during like the hell portion of runs, I focus a lot harder. But yeah, since I'm just doing normal only and I'm just doing jail resets, like once I get past jail, I won't talk to you guys anymore. You are on your own. You need to behave yourselves. I have one mod in each channel. I guess Leela is also mod in YouTube too, actually. And yeah. And if you guys don't behave, they will literally perma ban all of you. Good day. <laughs> yeah, I know Paladin. I couldn't. I dude, I didn't know. Good day. I didn't know. Good day. I can't believe that's the name for it. Like, I didn't realize that's what it's called. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't mind them. I don't, I don't mind those. Those are nice. Good day. Used to get them all the time, but yeah. All of them? I don't even remember what I just said, but if it said permabent all of them, yes. Yeah, we don't need focus for the first 10 minutes, but if I actually make it past jail, then yeah. We need we need to focus up. Can I be a mod? You promise a dicta di dictatorial, tyrannical, but fair reign of power and terror. Dude, that was so hard to say. I don't use those words often. Good day. I'm gonna start using those words more. You guys Good need to day. like find ways for me to use like things like tyrannical in a sentence. Good day. This run was tyrannical. <laughs> I don't know. Good day. Tyrannical is easily used. You Good can't day. even use it. Tyrannical Saurus Rex. I, that's the Good first day. thing that actually came to mind when I read it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Serious Cat as well, yep. Yeah, both of you guys had the same fucking idea. <laughs> Think you screwed up by making me a mod? You're getting so close to rejecting Be runs for too handsome. Who, who? I haven't submitted any. <laughs> Stop playing PoE and you're gonna use those words? Oh, well that's on the list of things to do. Not enough mana. Obviously Jim, oh true, that's fair. Boom. Please. Oh, ring. That was not <laughs> working as intended. I thought me picking it up while I didn't have my inventory open would make it just land in the inventory, but it turns out when you pick up an item with your inventory open, it actually lands in your hand, which is how it is supposed to work. Funny that. Funny that in it. Wait, Sliv, you're like 6'2", six 6'3". Two, six That's like my height, dude. This place is trouble. Imagine being my height. What are you trying to do? Copy me? Imagine thinking you were born that way. Like, dude, you weren't born that way. You're just trying to be me. It's okay. Tall as BK. BK is a bit shorter than you know. I could have sworn at the speedrun event he looked a tiny bit shorter. But not by much. Or maybe he's taller. Is he taller? That'd be nuts if he's taller. That'd be like he's huge enormous if he's taller. I'm getting out of this den. Speed. What's up, Peladon? 
Good day. Thank you, Franco. We beg for a jail setup so we can be set free. It's crazy. We have to go to jail to get free. I mean, at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's like Monopoly. When you go to jail, you pass go. And that's how the speedrun starts. It says go... I mean, as much as the wording of Monopoly always says, do not pass go or whatever, but passing go means that you collect the $200. It doesn't mean that you don't pass go. You still pass go. Most of the time. Assuming that, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Sorry, I was just reacting to something. <laughs> Day. How much do you waste live like 90? Good day. Hey, I, I wouldn't have a clue how much live weighs. Good day. Good but day. at the same time. I don't know. Good day. If he's my height, he's probably like between 85 and like 95 or something. Good day. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. Good You're day. on the chunkier side at the moment, around 100. Oh, you've been where I've been before. I've been there once. Good day. Uh. Evil beware. Only one time I've been above 100 kilos. Good day. I got to like 103, but now I'm like just below Evil 90. Beware. That's kind of where I hover at the moment. I dropped as low as like 79 at the beginning of... No, not at the beginning of last year, like halfway through last year. Yeah. What's up, Paul? How you doing? You're watching my stream while walking on, on a machine at the gym at the moment? Nice. It's crazy how that works, dude. We live, we live in a time where we can consume things while doing everyday activities. It's like instead of going to the movies to watch a movie, you can just be doing that while you're working out. It's locked. It's locked. I have to sell that seven fire as charm and I'm already crying over it. I mean, I could keep it, but the run's probably gonna die, so I might as well just sell it anyway. Keep it? Keep this. Guys, I have a question. Would you think that you're in a nightmare if you woke up one day and I was speedrunning a completely different game? Like, when I say completely different, I don't know. I'm talking like maybe one maybe one day I woke up. It, not, not a bad game in particular, but just like if I was speedrunning like, I don't know, Super Mario 64 or something. Would you think it's a dream or a nightmare? I need mana. Like imagine I just start running Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh 
Or maybe I speed around Persona. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> I think you would definitely enjoy Pichu. <laughs> Just like, don't even play this game. I mean, you played the, the other Diablo, but yeah. <laughs> There'd definitely be a few people in here who'd be like, yeah, hell yeah, do it. Or well, not do it, but like, they would, it would be cool, I guess. Just don't run the Diablo game before D2R, but after D2. Are you talking about Immortal? Like the one that's set? I, like, you're, oh, you're talking about lore, dude. That makes me mad. What do you mean, three? Wait, no, yeah, you mean three. That doesn't make sense. I just realized D2R and D2 have the same lore. I'm so stupid, holy. That was like some fucking five brain cell shit. Yeah, release date. Yep, I realized. You should play AoE one day. What, do AoE speedruns or play AoE? Yeah, Slovenius plays uh, AoE. I got Piju into it. And she is hooked. A little too hooked. A little too hooked, if you ask me. Uh, how bad do I want FCR? I want it so bad! Give me now. How's one speedrun AoE? You'd probably just do campaign. But that's boring as fuck. That would be so boring. Doing campaign missions. Holy shit, I'm gaming. Ow. <laughs> Dude, Sliv doesn't want to get the source. Like, you don't understand. I'm trash at AoE in comparison to you now, but if I play it for like 10 more hours, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> nah, Sliv, Sliv actually plays ranked mode, Piju. So I think he'd, um, I think he'd actually beat me. I know, it's hard to believe. I know, I know, I know. It's hard to believe someone would beat me at a video game. I know, guys. It's, it's hard. That's oh, alright. I need to keep my ego in check. You would actually kick my ass. It would be embarrassing. It'd be like watching an adult dropkick a toddler. That's why we get those 10 hours in. What rating are you on, uh, AoE Sliv? Are you above or below the starting rating? I think I'm just below. I think I played like two games and got my ass handed to me. Or I alt f forward. I forget which one. I'm pretty sure you said you were like 1600, right? Yeah, 1500. Starting rating is like what? 1200 or 1400? What is it? <laughs> 15, 16. Oh, 1000. Okay, okay. Wait, oh, damn, you're actually good then. Okay, yeah, that's actually good. It's either that or people around that rating are really bad. I'm scared to play ranked, man. I'm fucking terrified. I don't know what it is.
But you get to be William Wallace. True. Everyone's favorite. You're in Alo Hell. Like, the thing is, you actually know, like, what to do, though. Like, you know, like, how to, you know, do things. I don't. Like, you know, like, parcel rush and stuff or whatever, probably. I don't know. I don't know what people even do in the meta right now. You can't win matches because the opponents are so bad. That doesn't make any sense at all. That makes literally no sense. Depends on the map and the Civ matchup. True. There are so many Civs, true. That's another thing as well. Like, I'd probably have to put like a lurk in. You can't change my mind about oh, that. Don't hit me, please. Okay, good. Everything's fine. 8.51 and I'm in jail. Cool. are not broken, they kind of are. They're not good? Elephants? If there was magic here, it's long gone A day's now. ruined. I don't know what counters them though. Besides Pike, like Pikemen obviously kind of counter them, but I'm pretty sure they've like shit on Pikemen before, for me at least. Albs. You struggle with Act 4 Chaos in your P1 Soul Cal speedruns, dying often and cold immunes in the way. Any tips? Um Paul, you need to um You need to like play a little bit of a hybrid to get past Chaos. Like in speedruns, we get to 49, 50 putting all points into like blizzard with like five into static field right and then afterwards you need to put like one point into fire mastery go down the tree and get like at least seven to ten points into hydra and as long as you have lore and a spirit what you can do is you can keep rolling chaos until you get a non-cold immune infector vizier has to be only cold immune uh not vizier sorry decease and then Vizier obviously can't be cold immune either, which I don't think he can spawn cold immune. I don't think I've ever seen him cold immune, but yeah, either way. You have to make sure that Decease isn't uh, fire immune and Infector isn't cold immune. And what you can do is that you can use a lower resist wand on Decease and put um, a bunch of Hydras around him. So you can just spam Hydra on top of him. Get six Hydras on top of him as best as you can. It's going to be hard to survive, but yeah. That is the way around it. Yeah, Vizier does have weird res, but I think the only... Like, I don't think he can spawn with that, even with Cold Enchanted. I think he forces Lightning Immune every time. And then I think, like, he's always some sort of weird combo of things. Which is pretty easy, because elephants are crazy expensive and houses are dirt cheap. Ah, I see. You just need to outnumber. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Now demonstrate us. Demonstrate us what? Is there a res I need to get to keep from getting constantly near one shot? Uh, fire res will stop you from getting melted by the pit lords. Lightning res is just good in general in case anything has lightning damage. Um, but other than that, no, not really. Like, I mean, cold damage, it's always a good thing to chug thawings and uh, thawings and antidotes and have a couple spare because thawings and antidotes will help you against the mages when they spam their poison and their cold attacks but yeah other than that not much you can really do it is very hard like 
I wouldn't say you suck, but Chaos is definitely very difficult on Assault, because you're just so squishy and you get knocked into hit recovery so often. But yeah, you probably just want to stack Fire and Lightning, and then just chug Thawing and Antidote. And try to avoid dying from that point. If you die, then you have to re-chug them, obviously. Um... What else? Yeah, I think that's about it. In terms of dying, yeah, there's not much else that you can really do. But yeah, as I said, Desace just can't spawn, um... Desace can't spawn Fire Immune, and Infector can't spawn Cold Immune. As long as you roll a Chaos that's like that, you should be fine. I mean, obviously, if Vizier is Cold or Fire Immune, then you have to re-roll as well, but I don't think he can be both. I think he can only be one or the other. But yeah, Slave, if you actually kind of teach me a little bit about AoE 2, I'll get into competitive, maybe. Good day. I'll think about it. Good I'm just going to be really trash for the first little while. And uh, also, Paul, thank you again as well for the 999 Super Chat. I appreciate that, man. Sorry, I was just answering the question first before <laughs> acknowledging. But yeah, thank you, man. I really do appreciate that support. Good day. Discuss it at some stage. Good Let's fire up a game right now. I'm just kidding. Good day. You're typing like you're on phone, which probably implies that you're in bed getting ready for your next day of whatever it is that you do. Work or something? I don't know. Actually, wait, it's Saturday tomorrow. You don't work. Evil Why would you work? It's Saturday. Getting people work on Saturdays sometimes. You work Saturdays? You work every day, Emilox. You're an Uber driver, dude. You work every single waking hour of your life. Typing slowly because you're checking D2 Wisson. Dude, for some reason that site, by the way, got flagged on my Chrome and like every time every time I go to it now, it's always like hackers are hackers may be trying to steal your information or whatever. Like, did you get that message on that that site now too? I don't know if you use Chrome or not. Maybe you don't use Chrome. <laughs> so fucking so dumb. Website hasn't been touched in years. Edge over Chrome? Holy, I've never seen more of a Pema Ban worthy statement. This place is trouble. Pema Ban is ass the fuck. <laughs> Honestly, Edge isn't that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably improved since what what was the browser that Microsoft used to have that was actually a meme? Like what was it called? It was the one that was like part of IE. Was it just IE? I could have sworn it was something else, but yeah, I guess it is just IE. Hey, what's up, Matt? Welcome in. You're finally catching a live stream? I'm sorry to announce that I probably won't be live for too much longer today, but... Welcome in, bud. Happy to have you here. Nah, I think the only thing that's really annoying about Edge is how much they really try to force it down your throat. It's so annoying. It's 2.16 in the morning for you? Oh, damn. What time zone is that? That is New Zealand, right? Yeah. 
Peewee time zone. Spot on, I know it. I know my time zones when I see one. Four monsters and they're all here, right? Yep, good. Yeah, I do P1 through the hole down on Sork. So just try and get through as quickly as possible. I mean, you can do corpse fire on like anything you want to. Like, you could realistically do them on P8 if you wanted to. It's just like it's interchangeable. Into dasting. Favorite kind of dasting. Snow day for you. Just woke up Friday morning to six inches of snow. Dude, that's pretty average. Nah, sorry. That was a bad joke. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I've never even seen snow, so... I don't even know what average is. Who are the teleporters to? Almost an I'm dead counter. Good day. Where is that sort going? Uh, ideally to normal bail, but yeah. Don't know. There hasn't been six inches of snowfall in the area you live in in the 47 years you have been alive. That is crazy. There hasn't even been zero inches of snow in the area I've lived in. We're lucky to get hail, dude. And, I mean, I, I say lucky, but honestly, hail is fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, lucky. <laughs> hail is, like, fucking scary. I have uh, had a few instances, or at least I've seen, like, hailstorms, like, take out, like, shit before. Can't imagine having not seen snow. Yeah, it's Good crazy day. in it. It's crazy in it. In it, bruv. Good day. Dude, look at the chat on screen. How fucking clean is it? I'm so. Oh god, I just can't. I can't stop getting over how clean it is. Good day. Good day. Want me to fix that? Good day. What's your problem? 
cats on screen, we can say dumb shit now. No, you're not allowed to say that because otherwise what I'll do is I will blacklist you from showing up on the screen, okay? So, smile. Tee hee. Good day. Anyone who forcefully says stupid things Good just day. to get me angry or riled up like that, like hardcore question mark? No, I'm Good kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, this isn't hardcore though. Good day. Wait, why does your name show up as like red? Your name is purple for me. Why is your name showing up as red? Wait. Sorry, I just had a coughing fit. Almost died. Anyway, carrying on. Uh, I'm no harm. But I guess it's because they haven't picked a color. I think they haven't picked a color on Twitch. And when that happens, it, it just picks a random color for them. Good day. It's green to you? Yeah. Until you actually pick a color on Twitch, your name is like different colors for everyone. Good day. Didn't know you could pick one? Yeah, uh, I forget where it is in the options. I know you can type slash color and probably put like a hex code. But it depends on whether or not you have Prime. Chat menu maybe? Yeah, there's another place. I think with Prime you can actually pick like a hex code color, but yeah. Yours is fine, yours is pink. Yeah, pink is cool. Good, day. Good luck, Kainer. Thank you, Prez. Good luck to you as we as well. Good day. Pink is your daughter's favorite color ever. I didn't even know you had a daughter. How do you have a daughter? Good day. You have two? How do you have two? Good day. Evil beware. Now he's not paying attention. Pink is cool. That just shows up as italics for me. Is it showing up as a color for you? Oh, it's my, it's, I think Franca faces makes it italics. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. How do you have two? You had sex twice. Wow, congrats. You just, like, nailed it twice in a row. Two for two? Yeah, that was my next question. Like, two for two? That's crazy. That is mad efficiency. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna say what I'm thinking, cause, just because it sounds funny in my head, but I was just gonna say, that's some strong cum you have there, sir. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Unless you're the receiver, I, I, I don't know. Then maybe that's some good <laughs> receiving. I'm restarting the run. <clears throat> I'm restarting the run, I'm not having that in my pod. Yeah, imagine this is what record. Oh. Goodbye, GDQ. Guys, please. We're GDQ safe, I swear. <clears throat> oh, good night, Paladin. Sorry, I, I might have missed you, man. You might be already gone, but good night, dude. Hey, it's my first time watching a Sork run in D2R. Oh, what a, what a, what a run for you to join in on, oh boy. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anyway. Um, let me see, is the strat still jail? Yes, still jail resets, except we do it in just one try. Which is, at the end of the day, that should have been the fastest thing for LOD anyway. Like, people should never have been TCPIPing for the best times. But they just did it because they were lazy.
Hey, Joski. <laughs> yeah, the the the, uh, the the conversation definitely did take a bit of a turn from talking about colors. From very very innocent to quite the opposite in a very short period of time, which quite often happens here. But I don't know, man. It was the first thought that came to mind, and I had to say it. Okay, it just sounded funny to me. Like it was one of those things where it sounded so funny as a thought. I couldn't not say it. <laughs> what was said I missed out. Um, I'm not repeating myself. That was one of those moments where you just had to be there, right? So that means in future, don't miss a single second of my stream if you wanna if you wanna catch all the funnies, alright? You're chained here. Yeah, but the thing is, you still didn't answer the question either. It was like, are you two for two? That is nuts if so. You are not, okay. I figured. I need mine. A lot of practice. I see. We get it, alright. We get it. You have a lot of sex, congrats. Imagine admitting how much sex you have in a sexless chat. Because we're all obviously saving ourselves for, you know, uh, what is it again? What do they do? Like, m marriage or some shit? <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is stuck clipping stuff the GDQ stream. Why, why do you, why do you hate me? Like, I don't get it. You just admitted you hated me by doing that. Fine, man. I get it. <laughs> Indeed, sex is her arm. I see. I'm learning more every day. I gotta go this way. Normal world record? Yeah, we're going for normal, Lawrence. You always thought sa- oh, sax. I actually read that as sex. So many things you learn at Kino stream. Yeah, dude, it's educational, fun for the whole family. Fork. How those goats aren't sending you into hit recovery, you don't know. It's because I have 30 vitality. Therefore, I am strong. Stronger than the average sorceress. And that, and they're probably not critting me, I guess. If they crit me, then they would.
Yeah, that is a sad thing, to be honest. For people who are obviously trying. And then there's the people out there like me who want to avoid at all costs. Because imagine having another one of me around. Please no. Fuck it, I'm throwing this last one. Don't care. Get it checked in hopes of bad news. <laughs> That's fucking bad, but I can't help but laugh. I'm sorry. Hey, Mehmet, how you doing? Got a 2020 Necro Torch yesterday. Congratulations on getting a... Amazing torch. Great dog shit class. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Guys, this is a jerk. I love Necromancer Smile. Hey! <laughs> it was a jerk, but it was funny because it's true. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a real class. See, I'm with Sliv on this one, I'm sorry. You guys are all wrong. Bash in my ult. It's okay. Necromance is my ult, it's just my seventh ult, that's the thing. And by 7th ult, I mean it's like on the bottom of my list of all classes to ever play in this game. Impossible. I need to grab the amulet or else... But no, that's awesome, Emmett. Congrats, dude. You haven't got a single unique amulet? Impossible. Funny when you need Tal's mask and you try to get it, you won't. But if you don't need it, they just come like everywhere. Why did I say it like that? Today has been a wild day. Hey, I'm dead. I can't. Whoa. Choice of words definitely needs to be a little bit better in today's stream for me. I can't. Impossible. I can't. Please. Nice damage. Now you guys are just trying to take any opportunity you can to fuck up the chat on screen. That's it. I'm removing cum as a word. No more cum on screen. If there was magic here, it's long gone <laughs> now. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. Like... Probably a good thing to have no come on your screen. Like a Kano triple. Oh my god, please. Let's not. <laughs> Let's stop, okay? Let's stop before this gets really bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's settle. All right, do we have a jail? If there was magic here, it's long gone now. A wise man once said, Pognali. <laughs> Fucking archers. Next run. Good morning, Andrew, how are you? Good day. Maybe stop anking. 
Hehe. <laughs> Piper was funny though, sorry. Evil beware. Guys, what does anking mean? What does it mean to ank? Is he talking about an anchor? <laughs> Resurrect. Oh, I guess it does actually. Isn't that anking? Close enough. Basically the same thing. <laughs> Salami! <laughs> that emote's so good. Why is it so good? Sometimes I forget I have that enabled. And then I remember and every time I just chuckle a little bit. What a mana. Oh, fuck, I really, really want to keep that charm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ooh. Yeah, who is a good emote too. It's probably the best emote on Twitch actually. Or 7TV. Milk? I'm not enabling milk here, PG, okay? There are some things in life that we get, and milk is not one of them here. But honestly, we probably should have milk after all the fucking cum talk today. Pognali is Russian. It means let's go. Yeah, I think I figured as much. I have I have heard that. <laughs> that's kind of why I say it. But that's awesome. <laughs> I got it from the uh, from the Russian speedrunners. Alright, I'm actually going to have to take that word off of the chat at some point, probably, as a filter word. Okay, we got to keep it a little safe. Well, maybe we should just take it out of chat altogether. I could moderate it that hard as well, I could make it not part of the chat anymore. You guys will easily find ways around it, you'll just fucking just write the regular word. Which is honestly like how most people write it anyway. Lion. I need not read that, okay? Oh my fuck. It's gotta go. I'll be back, guys.
No. <clears throat> Game is telling you to restart one to Uber's Necro. Um, I don't have like eight hours to spare right now. If anything, I'm probably going to end in the next like 20 minutes. Why are you running pacifist slash and stash? N like, are you doing normal pacifist slash and stash? What's up, Jake? Thanks for the good luck. <clears throat> White boots. I mean, defense doesn't really matter too much. We don't worry too much about, like, early game stuff. Like, you'd ever do hell slash and slash? You could in, like... You could, like, over the course of days... Oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not actually doable because of the sace. 150 to 180 Even hours game where? time? Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. But I mean, to be fair, once you collect, collect a lot of the gear, it's kind of like interchangeable. Because like, doesn't, doesn't like enlightenment kind of like transfer over to all classes? Just obviously farm a one try pull ring again. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about the sin the lack of synergies. She stole my kill. She stole it. Not the supports for the ADC cannot last hit. Faded, was that the wrong chat? <laughs> I'm not playing League, bro. <laughs> Just calling me the ADC. <laughs> right, right, okay, right. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Lack of brain damage, holy shit. I mean, not lack of brain damage, the other way around. Actually, a lot of brain damage. <laughs> Cybers, you always say the weirdest shit to me. 
every time we do it in YouTube chat. I'm just like. I need mana. <laughs> but I know if I tell you to stop, you won't. It's just one of those things where I just have to accept that this is part of who you are, maybe, probably. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Uh, yo, Roosty, 1984. Thank you so much for the, the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free watching. Guys, I got my glasses today. And you want to know the craziest thing? I can see again. Funnily enough, I'm not wearing them right now. Oops. Four eyes. Call me four eyes one more time. And I will literally do nothing. Nothing I can say on Twitch, at least. Ah, uh, they're just regular. But they're a really good quality pair. Said the pig squealing Japanese singer. Yeah, glasses. Oops. Oh, okay, this is okay. Silly streamer doesn't know that Raka is landing enchanted. I might actually pay my venue for that. Time for some jail resets. Oh, it's still working. Let's go. Wills, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate you, man. And, uh, yes. But, I mean, not for too much longer. I've already been resetting for, like, two and a half hours. I was only planning on doing, like, a three-hour stream today. Maybe not even. I'm quite tired and really sore. Done like a lot of like lifting and shifting recently because I'm moving soon. I'm moving in three fucking days. I, I sprung it up on, upon, upon myself randomly. I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking move. And I just like decided, yep, I'm doing it. Moving where? Europe? No, I'm moving like literally to a, like, you know, next door. Not next door, but like, you know what I mean? Not far. Still the same place, basically. Next building, yeah. <laughs> next building, yep. Monastery. Sick of this one next. Ontario's stronghold. He likes to move it, move it. It's true. Is rent cheap in Australia? Uh, 
Kind of, not really. The like, cost of living is pretty crazy here. Like, basically, whatever... It, well, hold on. You live in Canada, right? Morning. I think we have similar pricing to Canada. Like, our currency is doing the same as yours. Yeah. I think um, our currency is, like, the same as yours, compared to the US dollar, at least. So basically, like, whenever people in America say, Oh, I got this, like, thing for, like, $5, we're like, Oh, well, that actually costs $10 in Australia. If there was magic here, then you just start crying because you're like, holy shit. Wait a minute, it's 8.20 and I'm in the fucking jail. Good day. Like, we're in. I'm level 6 though, that's shit. Good day. Also, I didn't have gas, which is a huge problem. Huge problem. Like, this is actually going to be horrendous if I have a jail set up. I don't think I do though. Has to be like if right here. Magic here. It's long gone now. Cage, maybe? Nope, no cage. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna go next. So, what is your red cost there? Good day. Well, how about I just tell you like all my details? How about I tell you where I was born, my mother's maiden name, and my social security number that I don't actually have? No, I don't know. In general, like, rent in, like, Adelaide can vary a lot, but it's anywhere from, like, uh, um, let me think. Uh, what do you guys rather? Do you rather in a per month or a per week? Because here, I think they do it per week, usually. Per month. Per month is, like, <clears throat> Anywhere between like 1600 and like 3000 probably in Australian dollars though, okay? So keep in mind, it's Australian dollars. Say it in peasant hey. dollars, get a grip, dude. And that's like for a decent place, like... You could get like, I don't know... A decent house out in the suburbs, or maybe like an apartment in the city or something. But keep in mind, that doesn't include, like, utilities and shit either. So, like, you don't have, like, electricity, gas, or water included in that. That's all separate. You have to add that on top. Who needs electricity and gas, though? True. Let me just fucking rub some sticks together, dude. Good day. Charge my phone with my, uh, my sweet fucking rubbed together stick fire that generates a current somehow and charges my phone. Good day. Good day. But including 1600 a month. Is that in US or Good day. That includes utilities, I see. Evil beware. Can't get anything less than 520 in Sydney. Yeah, Sydney's fucked. Sydney and Melbourne seem very fucked. Not enough mana. Holy shit. That's crazy. Five twenty a week in a two bedroom apartment, that's fucked. That is that is ridiculous. To be fair though, I think like are you in the city, Sliv? Or Like are you close to Melbourne C B D? You're in Melbourne, right? This place is trouble. That's honestly not that bad for C B D. If it's CBD, but if it's not, then yeah, I have no idea. Do 
It's just crazy because like we don't have like much in terms of like apartment housing here in uh, Adelaide like, as a whole. Apartments are like a much more newer thing I guess. If they are even being built. What up Molten Nerd? What should I do if you're too weak for hell? Uh, create room words that help you get through the game. Things like Ancient's Pledge, Spirit, Lore, Stealth. And then look for res gear on gloves, belts, and uh, boots through shopping at like a relatively high level in Nightmare. Keep charms that give you beneficial stats. I can't make it through this done. Yeah, that's the other thing as well. That that Rex raises a really good point. As much as some of you guys have high rent prices, you also have higher like pay. Good day. In a lot of these places. Like people who work the same job here will get less than what you guys get over there. But with that said, there's other jobs that kind of work in reverse. It's like for example here in Australia like all like waitresses and stuff get paid like a base rate whereas over there you guys have to like work work for your fucking tips and shit you know like tipping is not a thing here we don't tip everyone Good day. because our workers actually get paid crazy isn't it Good day. they get their base as well i mean yeah but like i guess yeah like tips are what really help people get through Good day. Yeah, to an extent, many call center jobs in AU pay like 50k, which is nothing today. Yeah. Good day. Australia seems like a pretty cool place to live. It's not bad, besides the evil demons that try and kill you on the outside. But other than that, everything's oh, fine. Hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> Good day. Kano Konza are good. Got here just in time for the beginning of the run. You did, okay, meanwhile. You did. I'm about to alt it for the stream. Think of the five months, man. Good day. Demons? Good day. Speaking of demons, though, like... Okay, I actually had, like, a pretty fucking terrifying time today. Um... So, like, I don't ever really complain much about, like, the wildlife in Australia. Like, don't get me wrong, there's a few bees and wasps and shit that are a little bit annoying. But, like... And I know these guys aren't really particularly dangerous either, but, man, there were some fucking dragonflies in the area just going so insane. Like, they had the zoomies, it was nuts. Like, they were just fucking going in circles, like... Not, not like... Not, like, at a head height, but, like, two persons above me kind of height. <laughs> I, I like I don't know I'm I'm like not like super afraid of them or anything like that but I'm a little scared of dragonflies even though like I know they don't really like harm you they don't do shit to my knowledge like they only ever bite you if you like harm them right I've never ever like had a bad encounter with a dragonfly but they're just so fucking fast man they're so fast and big no nah, my spider encounters haven't actually been that bad in the last like 10 years Besides, like, a couple of them coming down on, like, a web, but, like, they've been tiny. They just, like, they've been tiny spiders that come down on a web, but they just, like, get in the corner of my eye and scare me. Good day. Do y'all have scorpions? Probably somewhere. Good day. But nah, like, as I said, I was just, I was, like, out and about today. And, yeah, I saw, like, at least two or three different dragonflies just going crazy. Good day. Huntsman dropped on your shoulder the other day? Owned. Good day. I think dragonflies bite people, maybe in Australia. I, like, I don't know. When I was googling it, 
I saw that they only really buy people like in self-defense. Good day. Which is like a lot of bugs to be honest. But I think wasps are more aggressive, aren't they? Like wasps and like Good hornets day. and shit, they like they actually like attack you, right? I don't know, every time I see a wasp, I'm always just like just like ducking and weaving, Good like day. proper like IR elevating. Evil beware. Wasps are assholes. They actually are. Wasps are fine if you don't attack them or make lots of sudden movements like ducking and weaving. Bro. Nah, I've never actually been stung by a wasp. I've been stung by a bee though. A bee stung me in the neck once while I was trying to play cricket. And now, in fact, that was my first ever, like, bee sting by a live bee. I was stung by a dead bee, funnily enough. Which doesn't make sense, right? Because when bees die, they're like stingers or like dunzo. But this was just a dead bee that was on the floor, like, with its stinger pointing up. And I just fucking stepped on it. You fear nothing but the Rambo Roo across from the street? Oh, I've seen the picture that you posted in Discord. That's fucking amazing. That thing is terrifying. If you crush them, they can sting you? Yeah. You killed over 40 wasps last year? How do, wait, how do you kill them? Like, what do you do? Was this like in your car or something? Like, cause obviously, like, I know you, like, most of the time you're working and shit. You spray? Mortine! Let me just carry a fucking Mortine with me all day. Cause wasps are they can, they can like sting you multiple times. I don't know like how, how they are like I've as I said I've never been stung by one so I'm not sure like how they actually are I know I've heard that they're aggressive and I know that they like do go hard but yeah yeah Only the first sting has venom in it. Didn't even know they had venom in their stings. Oh boy. Yeah, nah, wasps, like, I've just noticed that in, like, some areas here, like, wasps can be pretty bad. I see a lot of them, but I've never been stung by one, luckily enough. I've had so many close calls. Like, not close calls in terms of, like, a, yeah, I almost got stung by one, but, like, just close calls in terms of them, like, flying, like, in front of me or, like, a, near the area that I'm, like, having to walk past or whatever. Hornets are terrifying. Yeah, those fuckers look scary. Wasps aren't as aggressive as hornets. I like how we just like turn this into like a animal planet kind of like stream. We're just learning about like all the different bugs and creatures together. Discovery, yeah. <laughs> animal planet. <laughs> I don't know. 
mean, to be fair, every stream is like Animal Planet if you think about the amount of fucking monkeys we have in here. And I'm the biggest ape of them all, especially yesterday, after the amount of throwing I did, holy shit. Like, actual. I'm like king of the apes. Centipedes are the creepiest bugs. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty spooky. They're pretty fucking spooky, in it. Oh, that was the best part about me. Actually, in fact, now that you say that, funnily enough, that was the best part about me hearing about some of the stories of the. Uh... Do you know? Never mind, I take it back. It, it was not those bugs. It was not them. I thought maybe it was centipedes that the the new place encounters a lot, but I just remembered it was not them. Keep getting an error during the extraction process. I haven't used that program in ages, but uh... I'm really not sure. Usually the Reddit thread itself has like most of your FAQ stuff. I would just double check that, otherwise I don't know. Sorry, I can't really be of use. I just, I haven't encountered an error, so I don't know. Depends on what your error is, you know? Send it to Jesus. Yeah, maybe Jesus can troubleshoot your issue. I never thought about using Jesus for tech support, you know. Please don't kill me, please don't. Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> We're going to restart that run anyway. We all knew it. Sure. Good day. <laughs> You've reached the Kano tech support. Please grab a number. Yep. He even said please. Good day. Yeah, I know, right? I said please, man. I was like, please don't kill me. Good day. Kano Attenborough. What's my best kangaroo story? I don't have many kangaroo stories, to be honest. I've seen like two or three in my life. I saw one when me and my friends were driving late at night across the road. We were like out in the hills. And he was just like hopping along past. Um, and uh, I've seen them at the zoo, obviously. So that's the second encounter, and I think the third time was once at my mate's farm, but like, they were like on the other side of the fence, so I couldn't get to them. Good day. Most of the time they're just minding their own business, and it's kind of the same, like, Good day. you know, you're off doing your own thing, and they're off doing their own thing, so it's just like, you just don't, yeah, you don't do much. I've seen a koala hanging in a tree, like, near a school once. That's kind of cool. A friend of mine and I like got out of the car and like went up to it. Cause it was like fucking two in the morning or something. It was like one or two in the morning and we were just driving around. And got out of the car and he was just hanging from the tree and we we're just like, yo, what's up dude? Took a selfie with him. Nah, not quite, but... Not a selfie. Evil beware. I always see the videos of people saving their dogs from kangaroos, okay. and then here in America it's people saving their dogs from bears. Yeah, that or like crocodiles in like Florida, or alligators where? in Florida or whatever. <laughs> from America? 
You're from Kekona land. Sorry, my bad. Kekona land, and you just assume that all Aussies have an epic kangaroo story? Yeah, unfortunately we don't all... ...all have one. I like how I immediately just saw that, like, the Kekona, and that was enough for me to just be like, America land. Yep. Just immediately associate that emote with NA. Lord. America. Obviously, you know, it's Canada, too. What's the criteria for an acceptable start? Usually entering jail by nine minutes and then having, like, a really close setup that's no more than two tiles. Doing okay, Derek. How are you? This place is trouble. You don't want to get up and cook your meal because you're hungry? That's the dumbest shit I've ever read. Go get up off your lazy ass and cook your meal. Fair enough if you said I was tired, but you said the reason you're not getting up is because you're hungry. That's the dumbest shit. Get up. Now. What are you waiting for? Kino is a motivational speaker. Yeah, dude. So I'll just die. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're not gonna die. Man. But seriously, get up. Guys, this den is not looking good, and I might as well just go next. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more! And here we go, family friendly stream. Yeah, dude. What else did you think you were getting yourself into? Four minute den, I am so happy. I want to see if it is a pe Oh wait, sorry, I read, I read that already. Where do they track the speedrun? Uh, if you type exclamation mark leaderboard, there's a website there. Exclamation mark leaderboard or speedrun.com is the most common place where most world records are tracked. Not every single world record because unfortunately some people do not upload their world records. Including me to be honest. I've been lazy about uploading the most recent Sork time I got. But it's not even world record. Kinda. Not really. Kinda it is but it isn't. Always, I'm always in this weird fucking like limbo state because of Bender. It's really cringe and annoying but it is what it is. I wouldn't say he's cringe and annoying, but it's just the whole, like, not submitting runs. It's just annoying.
Next up on Reddit, streamer trash talks other streamers. Yeah, except the only difference is that like literally no one cares about D2. So it wouldn't generate any clicks. Unfortunately, we live in a world where clicks are the only thing that matter. You think you have something useful to contribute to society? Something positive? No. All that matters is the amount of clicks you just generated from whatever it was that you said. That dumb meme you just shared? It's gonna do better than, I don't know, a post about someone saving like 17 puppies or something like that from falling out of a tree or something. This is the longest underground I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm about to go next. This guitar's going kinda hard, I'm not gonna lie. Streamer made me sad. Does a community manager for Detour even exist? Uh, I don't know, man. Also, I didn't make you sad. The person I've really made sad is probably Faded because he was talking about how he was hungry and he didn't want to make food and I said get up because he's lazy. And he's either doing one or two things now. He's either getting up and making food because he was hungry, or he's sitting there crying. Uh, the monastery on Dariel's stronghold. So you've just casually got four out of the current LPX world records. Uh, yeah, except I technically don't have um, technically don't have Hell Paladin at the moment. I think Bender's Hell Paladin time is like 2.55 or 2.56 or something like that. Whereas I have a 3.04. So right now I only have Hell Zon, Hell Druid, and Hell Assassin. I have a lot of Torch World records though. I think I have Barb, Zon, Druid, If there was magic here, it's long gone now. Yeah, Bob's... Bob's on Sin... No, Bob's on Druid. Bob's on Druid. I don't know if I have anything else. Oh, Sork. Sork. I have Sork too. A uh, Boxer's currently trying to do a lot of, uh... NG plus... I don't NG plus, sorry. He's trying to do a lot of... Oh, okay. He's currently trying to do a lot of uh, Uber runs at the moment, so... If there was he just took my Assassin Uber long, world record, now. and now he's working on Bob, I think. But I don't know if he's, like, pushing hard for world records. I think he's just doing the time, doing, doing the runs. Yeah, that, that jail setup didn't turn out horrible, just by everything. He's definitely tear lurking. Good day. All right, I'm probably gonna make this the last like reset or two. Good day. Good day. Evil beware. Yeah. 
Oops, I need a stamina potion. That's when you know you're gaming. Place is trouble. Uh, probably just FCR pieces, honestly. Stealth runes if you had the spare base. A few underrated items are probably things like uh, Pelta Lunata, I think. Pelta Lunata is definitely one that is like super slept on. Well, not slept on, but it's like you just don't think about it, I guess. Like in a normal Sork run, I think, yeah, Pelta Lunata is one. Uh, anything that gives mana, basically, like mana or energy. Yo, Elite Pope, thank you for the $2 super chat. Can I hurry up and win? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I really, really am. Oh yeah, Biggins is really good, yep. Biggins bonnet, yeah, is actually pretty good. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh, I, uh, good day. One more. I didn't think about the vitality, and also Holy Fire is fucking overtuned. Like, way too overtuned. And as a result of Holy Fire being overtuned, we get forked. Good day. Sorry to inform you, but that's the opposite of winning. It is, actually. So true. Yeah, I hate getting hit by the holy aura things in this game, because for whatever reason, they just do so much damage. That's what happens when you give a developer too much power. They just go wild with power. Yo, Heisenberg. That was some rap piss, wasn't it? My kill this time, Flavi.
This place is trouble. This is tempting to crab. Some PhDs are easier than learning theory. I think so. Wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Oh yeah, Ice Bolt is bad. That is a bad ability. You knew what you were getting yourself into by playing that there. Uh, they make a lot of money through MTX. And there's a very, very dedica dedicated player base on Peewee. Like, they have, like, their microtransactions are really good. It's just pay for convenience. I mean, I'd argue that stash tabs are a must. Like, you are paying for convenience at the end of the day, but like, holy shit, is it a convenience. enough I actually logged on to Peewee just to uh not long ago just to buy some stash tabs. <laughs> Funny in it guys. Uh, I think he said something about KDA and matchmaking rating. Don't know what the rest means. I can't. Rough rock and issue fight. Bit sloppy. End up getting charge bolts out of it anyway. Rock 
Kanisha reminds you of Impossible. Pikachu? Kind of does. Sound very much the same. Impossible. How old game came out today? Oh yeah, the Pokemon, like, gun game thing. I don't know, it looks alright, but... I don't know. It looks alright. Pokemon with guns is basically all it is. I had a fucking left layout. Where am I going? Run. This is just a normal today, but I don't think I'm going to have a run today, Tony. It's locked. Yeah, I saw some people got like early access yesterday. A couple of streamers I was following, I saw, were playing. I think fucking Annie or whatever her name is. It's always interesting how like a lot of these games these days are doing like early access for streamers. I feel like it always like takes away some of the fun of actually playing early access for people, but Ah, uh, the monastery on Dariel's stronghold. Yeah, PoE has a really big learning curve. Huge learning curve. I know if I were to pick up the game right now, I would have to sit down and study so much shit. Yeah, I know. It's it's like, yeah. I know, Molten. I know how it works. I'm not silly. Like, I know, obviously, why it's done, and it makes sense from, like, money, money perspective, which is kind of like, you know. It's just sad to see, like, how common that kind of practice is nowadays. It's obviously good for some creators because they get good money out of the sponsorships and things like that. Some some don't get money out of it, but some obviously do get a fucking shit done. I'm just, like, baffled by how much they actually pay. I have a setup of some sort, but... I can't. Not looking good. Plus, I'm only level 6 and I don't have gas. This run's pretty doomed. Yeah, there's no cage here. This is pretty fucked. Hey, Albert, how you doing? But yeah, I am going to be uh, speedrunning PoE in the future. That is something on the list of things to do this year. That is something very much on the list of things to do this year. Dude. I feel like this song played already, didn't it? I gotta look at the queue again, man. I'm pretty sure Spotify just keeps fucking repeating the same things in the queue. Nope, it isn't. Why? Weird. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. But yeah, no, I think, as I said, I'm going to dive into a bit of Last Epoch, PoE, PoE 2 and stuff in the future. Honestly, I would love to, like, work with Last Epoch in terms of some sort of, like, sponsorship opportunity, but 
I don't know, I feel like it's probably too late to get in on that kind of thing. I don't know, because I, like, I would love to just, like, play the game. It looks like a really, really fucking good game, and they have, like, 1.0 coming out for it soon, don't they? Like, the release? It's, like, February, I think. That'll probably be a game I might dive into for a little while. Spotify algorithm has ruined your shuffle. Now shuffle only plays your top 50 songs, even if your playlist is enormous. Yeah, but I think I read up on that, that apparently, like, they have an algorithm, and then, like, sometimes there's also a way to fix it, and I tried fixing it, and it, it seemed like it was fixed for a little while, and then it just unfixed itself. But looking at my queue, like, it doesn't look like there's any duplicates. It looks like it's all fresh-ish. <sighs> oh, God. I'm so tired, man. But I'm also not. Yeah, you definitely have to do your research on PeeWee. But yeah. Did you miss it? You might have missed it, Ben. I mean, I didn't get world record or anything, but yeah, I'm probably done for today, guys. If any of you guys are new here, though, you should jump in the Discord server. Come hang out, come chat. We do talk a bunch of random shit, and there is a D2R channel, so if you ever want to, like, talk about D2... Most of the time, it's always speedrun conversations, but I mean, at the end of the day, you guys can talk about anything in there. But I will say that, honestly, like, when it comes to trading and stuff, trading is probably not going to happen in my Discord very often. <laughs> like, I see people trying to trade every now and then, I'm just like, I don't know. It, it, it's not, like, it's, this stream is not that type of thing. It's not like Barricade stream or, like, Llama stream, I guess. What are my top three metal bands? Dude, I have no fucking idea, but at the moment I've been enjoying a lot of Sleep Token. I wouldn't really say they're like, flat out metal or anything, but I like them a lot at the moment. Yeah, you guys should jump in the Discord server, and uh, obviously if you are new here on Twitch, you should sub to my YouTube channel, and if you're new here on YouTube, check out my Twitch channel here. Um, I always prioritize streaming on Twitch over YouTube, so if you guys do happen to miss a few streams or don't see me online much, you should check Twitch frequently. Um, like, Twitch is always going to be the place where I'll stream, and I won't stream other games on YouTube, I'm only going to strict strictly stream T2 on YouTube, so... Yeah. This carbonara is so good, totally worth waiting an hour for it. <laughs> I was talking about you before earlier, I was like, I wonder if he's gone to go uh, get the food or if he's, like, crying. I said, there's either one or two things. You're either, you're either, you've either gotten up to get your food or you're, you're crying. But, uh, yeah. Congrats, man. But yeah, alright, guys. I am going to end the stream today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in, as always. It was a very interesting one. We did say some very questionable things here, but, uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna end. I'm not gonna raid anyone or anything. Good night, everyone.